Uh, yeah. Strawberry? This is all so good. I'm going to do this again. Yeah. 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 So, uh, it was just, oh, it was so bad. And I remember when I got to this place where I was staying at, they were like, the town is, uh, <laughs> it's 20 minutes away. And I was like, oh, great. And I started walking through this field and I was like, you know, this, my shoes are getting sunken into the, the, the field. And I was like, fuck. And then the incline started to get really tre like trepidous. It went to like, at one point, it was like a 40 degree incline. I was like, fuck you know. You've not sold me Italy. But it was good. I've had so many good and bad experiences in Italy because I've been there more than any other European My favourite part was the Vespa. I rented a Vespa. Where I did that and I crashed it. <laughs> What? How right, did you crash I, somebody, the I was driving in front of the Vatican <laughs> and some bell end cut me up in a fit. <laughs> and it was like, I, I have to cheese at that moment. No, no, first of all, first of all, it's an oxymoron. Every Fiat owner is a bell end. You wow. yeah. My first car was a Fiat. Yeah, that's where you're about. Oh. You keep I, I, somebody cut me up, I went to the, the Vatican, I went and looked at the Vatican, I was like, oh, that's good, isn't it? You got my vest, I was like, hey, drove to a tunnel and a Fiat just went <laughs> in front of me, and I was like, <laughs> I had to choose, like, choose your own adventure, crash into fear, or, or swerve and hit the wall. I chose wall. And the f***ing thing hit the wall at 30 miles an hour. And my uh, trouser hit the tunnel wall, and sort of scraped it, and fused the trouser to, like, my knee. It was like Spider-Man, but s***. <laughs> trouser man. <laughs> like, I couldn't, for the next three days, I couldn't get my trousers off. Because it, like, fused into my skin. <laughs> like a... Being pressed sandwich, and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Italy man, I love it. But I had so many good and bad experiences there. I went to this um, this Vespa place. You know, in Japan, right? I'm so conditioned. We need a reservation for everything. Mm. Italy, it's like reservation. That's that's who we're gonna bully. They are like reservations are like uh, who they target. So I turned up to this this Vespa place. And I, and I, dr I drove there. Mm. I was like, "Yeah, can I can I borrow a Vespa? I just want to I just want to around and the, you know, just go around the the wineries because it was like really beautiful and it was right. like I really wanted to like drive around these winding roads in a Vespa." And um, he was like, "Yeah, how much?" He was like, uh, "I was like, I, got, I was like, I don't, what do you mean how much?" I was like, "I got fifty euros on me." He's like, "I'll do, that'll do." Oh. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, all your money. I was like, what? Do you, I, you know, I just come from Japan, where like everything is very like, you know, when you, when you, when you buy no something, benefit. yeah. But he was like, how much money you got? And I was like, what if I said two hundred euros? Would he have been like, yeah, I'll do? So I got fifty euros on me. So he, he takes my fifty euros, and I was like, don't you need to see my license? He was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he checked my license. He goes, yeah, you're good to go. I was like, okay, cool. And he's like, uh, by the way, um, <laughs> the drink driving limits in Italy is uh, two glasses of wine. But if you drink five, it should be okay. <coughs> and I was like, what? And I was like, okay. He's like, you know, most customers, they drink uh, three or four. Americans, maybe two. They, uh. I was like, okay. I was like, I was like this does sound right. He's like encouraging me oh to drunk drive. God. Yeah, it's really. And he goes, when you get out, don't worry about the 60 <laughs> kilometer, 60 miles per hour speed limit. I was like, what? Yeah, it was really interesting. Hell, man. He recognized Connor as a drinker. No, he, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like, don't drink too much, but drink a lot. And I was like, what? Because these wineries, you turn up, you drive into the winery, and you're like, two glasses of wine? And you're like, okay. Oh, weird. How much do you drink at the winery? <coughs> Every winery would be like, here's a glass of wine. I'd be like, I haven't even looked in there. Like, drink wine. I'm like, okay. Mm. Oh, is it? Because the limit was like, what, one or two? I think it was one, it was one I think. Mm. So I had lunch at this one place, and they were like, you have to have the wine. You you would be f***ing stupid not to have it. I was like, I have, I have, I have the wine, I have the wine. <laughs> I, drank, I drank one wine, and then, I, and then I drove the restaurant. I felt so guilty, because... I wish you'd film it. It sounded like the funniest f***ing video ever. Man, Following I... It, everyone should barter with me. I was like, can I just pay the f***ing price? I just don't want to deal with this. I'll pay good money to watch you <coughs> drive around Italy getting drunk. I didn't want to. Getting drunk. shitty taxis. I, I was like, can I, can I just like f***ing... Every f***ing taxi was like, 60 euros. I was like, f*** 
off. I just want to. <laughs> can I just pay how much it costs, please? <clears throat> it's like I'm drunk and I just want to. I just want to pay the cost. I have to deal with the bartering, and I'm like, off. <laughs> <laughs>